الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله. Okay. Welcome all of you to the Islamic Greetings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The name of this mosque now you will. It's uh, Imam Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab, okay. and it is also called State Mosque. And this is the replica of the first mosque built in Qatar from 150 years ago in Zubar. Of course, that mosque was not this huge, it was a small mosque, but it's a replica of that. And uh, in this mosque, this mosque, you can consider it uh, one of the ten biggest mosque in the world and uh, the capacity of this mosque is uh, here in this area 12,000 people can pray it accommodates 12,000 people here and up in the ladies room some 8,000 and 8,000 in the courtyard out, uh, outside here okay. so like this all, uh, all, uh, all the place of the masjid it will get some more than 30,000 people yeah. who can pray okay. so what we do in mosque we pray and uh, in Arabic it's called Salah and Salah is not merely prayer but you can say that it is programming ourselves to try this and how we do that it's like uh, before knowing that what is Salah actually, I would like to give you an introduction to the Islam. That Islam, it comes from two Arabic root words, Salam and Sin. Salam means peace and Sin means submission. So Islam means peace acquired by submitting our will to will of God Almighty. In short, peace through submission. When you submit yourself to the Creator who has created you, who is sustaining you, who is cherishing you. So the person who is doing that is called Muslim. Muslim, again it comes from Sin, Muslim, one who submits to the Muslim. And Many people think that it's a new religion some 1,400 years back when Prophet Muhammad came, he brought it to me. No, it is not the new religion, but it is the religion from the day a man put his foot on earth, and that is Adam, peace be upon him. As I told you that meaning of Islam is submitting our will to will of God Almighty. So all the prophets who came from day one till Prophet Muhammad, they all guide people to submit themselves to the will of God Almighty, who, who is our creator. And all of them came with one creed, that you pray to one and only God and abstain from praying false God. It is mentioned in the glorious Quran in chapter name of the chapter is Nihal. It's sixteen chapter of the Quran and the verse is thirty four, which says that Lakad Ba'atna Pikullah Ummat Rasul means that we have sent down to every nation a prophet, a messenger. And they came from for guiding people to and Abdullah question of the that pray to one and only God and absent from praying false God. And also, this if you'll see the previous books which came from God Almighty to previous prophets, like Moses, he got Torah from God. Prophet Moses told his people in Hebrew that Shamo 
Israel. Shama means here. In Arabic say Isma, in Hebrew we say Ishma. So he said Shama Israel, that here O Israel, Adno ya Adno ya that your Lord, your Lord is one. Ahad in Hebrew, Ahad in Arabic. So same thing is written in the Quran that Qul hu Allah Ahad says God is one and one. And even this thing was repeated by Prophet Jesus in the Gospel of Mark. And he also said the same thing. And even if you read the Hindu scriptures, the Brahma Sutra of it also says Ikkam Brahma that there is only one God. Divitya Nastik. There is no without a second. Nahna Nastik and Jan. How can I be given? So all the prophets and all the scriptures which came before Quran, they also got it the same path. And he was the last prophet that was that that is why the message is completed for the whole human kind. All the prophets who came before Prophet Muhammad they were all for a particular time period and for the particular nations. But Prophet Muhammad he was that he was for the whole nation and he was the last and final prophet and after that no prophet will even come so his message will last till the end of the time and that last message which came from God Almighty the last instruction manual for humankind is for us. you know that uh, there are many complicated machines and all the machines have instruction manual how to do and don't in the instruction manual. So if we are allowing it to call humans beings a machine, then we are the most complicated machine on the face of the earth. So don't you think that our creator have sent us without any instruction manual? No. The last and final instruction manual for humankind is for us. So what we do in Salah that we recite Quran. What we do in prayer, we recite Quran. And there are five daily prayers. Fajr. This Fajr means the sunrise or down prayer. Zohar. That's the, you can say, meridian prayer. And Asr, post meridian prayer. Maghrib, sunset prayer. And addition, that's why night. So five times a day we are reciting Quran, we are communicating with God, or you can say that we are uh, we are intaking the message of God, our do, do and don'ts, and how we should live in this world. So Quran teaches you Amr bin Maru, which means right is things don't have me and it forbids you from doing bad things. When daily five times we recite it and we keep it into our mind, it goes into our subconscious mind. And today the science or even the psychologists they say that whatever goes into your subconscious mind becomes your character. So like this if you're reciting or you're becoming Muslim and you're reciting Quran and you're praying daily five days your character will change. You will see the changes in your self. So that what we do during the month. We are praying five times. And there are also different things we are doing like the uh,
What you read, uh, you can read your language for me. You read in English. Right? If you want a book from here in English, you can read. Thank you, thank you. Picture, picture. Picture, picture. Picture, picture. 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 pic